Hello, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Earthbound. Uh, we are resuming the Three Jeff journey. Um, so a funny story, I actually recorded this episode already, but unfortunately, um, when I went to stop the recording, I accidentally turned the recording box off, and then I lost the f footage when I plugged it in to my computer it said um, that there were zero kilobytes left on the files, which means that they must have corrupted or something. So now I'm recording this part again. All right, we got a phone call from Apple Kid. I just want to let you know that I finished a pretty unique invention. I'm not sure if it will help you or not. It's called zombie paper, and it can be used to trap zombies. It works kind of like fly paper. All you need to do is place the paper on the floor of a tent or something. You've seen at least one tent around, right? And then the zombies get stuck to the paper when they move around inside the tent. You can catch a lot of zombies this way. In fact, I bet you can get rid of all the zombies that are terrorizing the area with this paper. Sounds like pretty good paper. Anyway, I just asked the mock pizza delivery man to deliver the zombie paper to you, Jeff. You should get it pretty soon. I've never actually seen a zombie, but if there really are any, zombie paper would be very useful. I'll be calling you if I come up with anything else. Click. Beep. Alright, so the mock pizza delivery guy is going to get us some zombie paper, which will in turn get us to, um, I don't know, safely get rid of the zombies. While delivering pizza, this weird guy asked me to help him out. He wanted me to deliver this to someone named Jeff, who is wandering around Threed. No one else knows about this, right? Let's just pretend that you're Jeff, and I'll give this to you. Oh, hello, Jeff. Just go along with me on this one, okay? I made the decision that you're Jeff, no matter what. Okay, so we got some zombie paper. That's right, Jeff. Wink, wink. I've done my duty and given you Apple Kid's thingamajig. Well, goodbye. All right, so uh, that guy's a snappy dresser, but he seems a little, uh, I don't know, sketchy. He doesn't seem like he's very good at his job. He just gives the stuff to whoever. Uh, but I guess... You know, he's been working at his company for a while, and they haven't fired him, so he must still be a pretty good employee. Jeff placed the zombie paper on the floor. So, we place it on the floor of this tent, and it somehow attracts all the zombies. Maybe, um, maybe the paper smells like humans, and that's why they come over there? I don't know. It's pretty scary. I wouldn't want to be in that tent at the time of the zombies walking in there. So what I'll do instead of that is just sleep in this nice safe hotel room. I'll feel much better about that. So hello happy man, welcome to the Threed Sunset Hotel. A one night stay will cost you $180. Would you like to stay? Oh yeah, sure, that sounds pretty good. Have a nice stay. Thanks mister. Okay, so they're having this really scary dream right now about zombies walking around in the graveyard and they all seem to have purpose they're walking away very sinister like and they're going into this tent oh no this isn't a dream that was because i put the zombie paper down oh i should have warned the people in that tent but you know i guess i shouldn't worry too much about the past uh s sir you're working hard even though you're young the guests' newspapers that were delivered to the hotel today are different than normal. This paper is called the... Zombie Herald? I'm scared, but let me tell you what's in it. Boogie Tent Falls, young human to blame. Oh no, they're angry! A few days ago, the zombies got some kids at this hotel. The boy had a red cap. Hey, it was you. Ah, we're zombies now. Ah, just kidding, you're safe. Don't worry about it. We are not bloodthirsty zombies. You are totally safe, man. Don't even worry about it. So, since we got rid of the zombies, why don't we go take a peek in the tent and see what's going on. Uh, we did it. Did you look in the tent? Yaha, we taught those stupid zombies a lesson. I was able to arrest many zombies because of your help. Arrest sounds strange, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, a little bit. You might not understand my saying this, but... Poor zombies. 
Yuck, we caught a lot of zombies. Ugh. Shiver. It's really gross. Alright, so let's see these zombies that are arrested. You're under arrest! Zombies, freeze! Okay. Uh, zombie paper really works. So I hope someone comes up with pretty girl paper. Oops, that wasn't a nice thing to say. Well, sounds like maybe this guy should get arrested next, because he sounds like a real creep. Those zombies stuck to the floor. I wonder if they could still get me. I don't care what happens to anyone else. I just want to save my own skin. Wow, what a hero. Um, whoa, I'll blame you for the rest of my life. Ooh, get away! Well, we'll see if the zombie chases us down, or if it really is under arrest and facing life in prison. Ah, pumpkin head! Alright, so a scary pumpkin guy and this creepy doll are attacking. Uh, trick or treat kid. So I'm assuming that it's just some random kid who put a pumpkin on his head, and this is his trick or treat costume, and he's utilizing the town's misfortune to go trick or treating whenever he wants. Um, I'm betting that the townspeople don't keep their lights on for him though, because, um, I don't know, that just seems like an abuse of the candy system. Um, so we won. 364 experience? Not bad. What does this guy have to say? This town seems very dark, right? The people are mostly living at the center of town. I wonder how we should get the town back from the zombies. I don't know. I think we already did though, because that one cop arrested all of them. Uh, can we sneak by these zombies? Well, of course we can. I'm from Minnesota and I know a thing or two about sneaking. Um, okay. Let's... Let's keep going, because this is a very dangerous tunnel, and I am not going to... Uh, oh, really, ghosts already. So, yeah, I don't really want to risk it in that tunnel. Um, preferably, if I can... Ugh, that same ghost, come on. All right, I guess we're going to fight the ghost. Um, so, zombie possessor, I remember... PSI Freeze A was very good against them. Okay, good. The icy hand trick didn't work. That actually possesses the party members, and that is not good. So Jeff leveled up to 16. Oh baby, defense went up by 3. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. Okay, so uh, wasn't the greatest of levels, but you know it's better than what Jeff was at before. Uh, we'll get into this fight. We'll use another PSI Freeze A, and hopefully not get possessed before that happens. Let's... Oh no! Okay, good. Jeff was able to um, not be possessed, so that's pretty good for him. Uh, or her, I guess. I don't know which Jeff they're talking about here. Uh, 317 experience. I had a very narrow escape in this room in the previous... Well... I shouldn't say previous episode, because technically it's the same episode. It was the one where I had accidentally shut off the recorder instead of turned off the recording. Unfortunately, when I did that, I did not get my footage to save. Um, so I decided I would just start this episode over again rather than try to explain everything that happened. But basically, how it went down was... Two of the three Jeffs got killed, and the third Jeff made it out of this tunnel with 7 HP left, and he was possessed. So, um, yeah, it was, it was a very narrow escape. I'm sad that I don't have the footage to prove it to you, but uh, let's just say it was intense, and not gonna lie, it probably would have kept everybody on the edge of their seats. So, you'll just have to take my word for it, though. Ah, zombie dog! Don't give me zombie dog rabies. Um, okay, so... Making a loud piercing howl. That's actually just what the non-zombie dogs do. So maybe it's not really a zombie after all. Um, okay, 39 damage with that bite. It's a very, very powerful zombie bite. Ooh, 44 damage. If that would have attacked Jeff too, well, by golly, she probably wouldn't have made it. Um, 452 experience, not bad. So, ta-da! Skip Sandwich Deluxe. Jeff takes it. 
So let's heal up really quickly here. And, and now let's scram. Whoa, get away from me, you no good flies. Oh, come on. All right, I didn't even have a chance to, to prepare for this one. So let's hope that we kick some serious zombie butt. Okay. Um, ugh. Well, it's not so bad that um, that Jeff 2 couldn't attack with Freeze because we were able to take down that ghost in one round anyway, just with bashes. Okay, so that was a pretty lucky smash attack there. Um, so Jeff hit level 17. Not bad, Jeff. Not bad. Um, we'll cure Jeff's cold and we will continue down the scary tunnel woo all right um looks like these two or at least the main zombie was stuck on that casket there i potentially could have gotten around but more than likely that dog would have been able to chase me down anyway so we might as well just fight them on our terms here um 85 and 75 that is a very good um I'll just say area of effect attack. Um, other games might refer to that as an AOE, but it just... Oh no! Okay. That's bad. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ah! Darn it. Ah. Okay. Well, I really don't want to go back to the hospital right now. Uh, I think we'll be okay. Because let's just say I know... A trick to taking down this upcoming boss. Um, let's see. Silver band. Who got that? Silver bracelet, I mean. Um, what does it do? Must be equipped on your arm. It increases defense. Why don't we make um, Jeff 2 wear this? Because um, she seemed to be taking a lot more damage than... Jeff 1 for sure, and maybe it's about tied with Jeff 3. So, uh, okay. So anyway, here's my... Oh no! Okay. Well, you know, we might not even make it out of this cave. Uh, we'll, we'll give it a try, though. Let's use... Um, let's see here. Uh, why don't we use... We'll use fire on the one in the back because I think the uh, ACDCB is going to be able to take care of the two in the front sufficiently. Um, yep. So, um, utilizing fire. Oh no, it didn't take care of the front two. I don't know why. Um, I don't know why there was such a big difference in the damage between the left ghost and the right ghost, but. Whatever, we made it through. We're only one Jeff short, and looks like there's a ghost chasing uh, Jeff one around. So you see this little green pile on the floor? We are going to fight him. York, York, since you had fly, honey, I considered you a friend. But actually, you're just a commoner. I am the mortal enemy of your kind. Oh no! Leave us alone, you mini barf! Oh! So, actually, if you use the Jar of Fly Honey, um, it will make this enemy get distracted, and it will be harder for them to land any attacks. So, so Freeze A isn't really that good. So it didn't smell like something... What's that? The Fly Honey didn't work? Um, here, Jar of Fly Honey. I'll try it again. I It should work. I thought that... It like distracted this um, the slimy little oh sorry the mini barf. Um, let's see. Open. It didn't smell like something he would like. Well, how do I use the fly honey? Um, hmm. I don't know. I thought we could use fly honey against the enemy here, but maybe we can't. So let's just um, let's just keep fighting it normally and you know hopefully it'll all work out so ACDCB 199 that was a very good attack I think we're gonna be okay um, 
Here, let's use a fire attack. Hopefully the mini barf doesn't attack Jeff 2 again. 80 damage, 65 damage. Exhale the blast of stinky breath. Oh, it didn't work on the tiny ghost either. Well, darn. All right, so vented a terrible odor. I think we're gonna win this one. Okay. So we keep missing, and I think that's because um, both characters must be crying. Um, so of course that makes it harder for them to land attacks. Uh, yeah. Okay, good. We defeated the mini barf, and I apologize if the fly honey trick that I mentioned doesn't actually apply for this um, this enemy, or maybe it was just because he was possessed it wasn't working for some reason, but it should have made the enemy distracted. Uh, I wanted to get your fly honey and gulp it down. Master Belch and I love fly honey. Georg, Georg. So, yeah, I thought that it worked in this fight, but maybe it doesn't. Um, what's this guy have to say? You must have a long, tough road ahead of you, do you not? No, there is no need to explain. I already know. You must be hungry. This is good timing for you. I happen to be carrying something to eat. What would you like? Um, I don't know. How about you revive Jeff 3? Doesn't look like any of this stuff is going to be up to the task. Please, by all means, come again. Ah, I just remembered. There's a village with many interesting people just ahead. You should go there and visit. I heard that the name of the village is Saturn Valley, but it cannot be found on any map. That reminds me of the map. Looks like I... I must not have picked up the map when I was visiting um, Winnet in the beginning of the game. Maybe I had it, but just gave it away to the um, Escargo Express. I'm really not sure. But what I do know is we should make sure that we have good health. Otherwise, we might get eaten by alligators. Um, I think there's alligators here. Um, okay, there's a bomb inside that present. That's a really weird place for somebody to just leave a bomb lying around. But I guess if we get attacked by some rabid wild animals, then, you know, we'll be safe. Okay, yep, so there's an alligator right there. Um, and a zombie. I th um, 13, so I don't quite have enough for um, ACDCB, but I could use ACDCA if I need to. A farm zombie. Let's, let's use fire A, that's fine. So luckily these tiny ghosts um, that have Jeff 1 possessed don't really deal that much damage to your party. Um, maybe it does more damage later on in the game, um, or maybe it, maybe uh, solidifying the body is really what uh, makes them dangerous, because that makes it so you cannot attack that turn. Um, 350 experience, not bad. Okay, and let's just run right by that alligator. Um, I just, I don't want to risk it. This was kind of a tough trek going between Threed and Saturn Valley, so I should pro probably um, not get too arrogant thinking that nothing bad is going to happen. So, the, the violent roach is knitting its brow right now. Uh, looks like that's going to keep it occupied. Oh. Um, I like how it's shaking its its fist at me. It's so violent. Oh, violent roaches. You gotta be careful around them. Luckily we tamed it though, so I don't think it's gonna be bothering anybody else. Level 20 for Jeff. Not bad. Ooh, 8 HP, 10 PP. That is very, very useful. Um, because Jeff B just really does not have much durability. Um... We get a bottle rocket, Jeff takes it, so that's helpful. Um, so this tunnel should be pretty short. Um, okay, I'm not sure if there's any other rooms in the tunnel after this one. Oh good, we made it. So, we made it to Saturn Valley, um, and we only have one dead Jeff at the end of this episode, so um, that... You know, seems to be 
just kind of how it goes lately. I know I've had a couple other episodes with a dead Jeff as well, so um, we'll make sure to to get Jeff patched up, and um, we'll see if the Saturns can take care of this ghost problem as well. Um, we'll do all that on the next episode. Thank you for tuning in, and if you enjoyed this, please check out the next episode too. Thank you.